Hey guys, my name is Sheer, and in front of me is a 2021 Ford Bronco four-door base. So let's check it out and see what kind of things that you would get on a base and what things you don't get with a base. So if you have one plan to order, uh, this would be a good video to check out. Let's make sure that you have everything you would want in this car. And also, uh, disclaimer, I have one on order. It's a base kind of like this one. And so I hope I don't miss anything. So, so that is a uh, 2021 and it is black. Unfortunately, black is hard to film because it reflects everything. I'll tell you what, it does look sharp. This is not the antimatter blue, which is exclusive color for 2021. You couldn't uh, get it on 2022. Uh, but this is this is just the shadow black. So first things you notice, and by the way, this is a base base Bronco. It has no additional options, as base as you can get, with the exception of automatic transmission. Everything else is standard that comes with it. You so you you have the uh, remote start. No, not remote start. You have the remote. That is a standard Ford remote. It does not have remote start in it, it says Bronco in the back. Uh, this vehicle does have Ford Pass, so you can do Ford Pass and do a remote start. And on the front, let's see, let's do that. No daytime running lights, you know, like this cool halo looking, so there's not one out there. But the front headlights are LED, so that is kind of nice. And then this, this is a standard bumper plastic. I wouldn't say I like it, but that's what it comes with. That's uh, the ugly plastic right there. It's Bronco script in black, shining black. So this is just a raw plastic right there. And uh, this is standard on everything. And then fender flares. These are fender flares or the standard fender flares that comes with this vehicle. And the Sasquatch ones are going to be you know wider comes out more and these are those 16 inch tires 16 inch so 255 70 18 uh, they look okay but I'm not a big fan I wish these were black I'll probably look better but they're silver so there's that and then these are Bridgestone tires and then looking up on there uh, nothing exciting a little carpet Insulation material, crash bars, nothing exciting. The side view mirrors, removable, stat right there. Uh, little blind spot mirror right there. No running boards or the rock guards or nothing like that. No. They all have capless gas caps, incandescent tail lights i wish ford has done all led back there i don't say i would care about that incandescent tail lights at least it, the license plate light is led plastic bumper and then we've got fifth wheel so it's the same deal there that is a camera this is where it's located so all of them have a camera it's mandated so can't skip on that that's kind of hard plastic right there third uh, brake light this is adjustable you get a larger wheel tire you can adjust it so that's pretty cool on the higher trims it's a uh, keyless entry with the intelligent access this one doesn't have that if you have the intelligent access you could lock and unlock there's a there'll be a button right there this one does not have that let's open this up they all open the same way this is a uh, this is a soft top and that is the extent of how much this door opens accessory ready so I guess you could put all kinds of accessory back there uh, I'm not gonna put I'm not gonna put this up it does come up about to here not a whole lot but that's where this ends carpet in the back nothing exciting some tools uh, so that 
seat does lean back very slightly, not a whole lot. That's kind of disappointing, but is it what it is? And the hard top, so it has the wiring for the hard top. If you wanted to put one on there. Let's go back, close this up. And that is probably the only Ford logo on this vehicle. Everything else is a Bronco, just like that. So, and let's, we come to the window sticker. So 34, 695, including destination. And this got nothing on here nothing on here and then this comes with a 10-speed automatic transmission so you couldn't even option this with manual that is interesting I think uh, you couldn't do that with a four-door you had to get a two-door if you wanted a manual and then uh, this this is what I was talking about so this is a seat so it will this is a normal position like that and if you recline it just that's how much it reclines you can see it right there not a whole lot but it will do i guess and then uh that is this seat is all the way back and that's how much leg room you have so it is a uh, it is pretty roomy i wouldn't say this is tight if i get up in here yeah that's that's good powerpoint usbs windows so that's pretty cool no step i guess it doesn't have enough strength to hold your weight and then uh, all broncos are power so there's no manual window or you know manual door crank windows that kind of stuff they're all powered coming in the passenger side notice the seat the seat here is only height adjustable so you can adjust it it is kind of nice because on the F-150 STX with cloth seats or XL, you cannot get uh, adjustable, height adjustable seat. So this is adjustable, which is pretty nice. I don't care if it's manual, but height adjustment is important for a lot of people. And then the back adjustment. Uh, the handle, Ford, put all these nice screws on here. You can swap it out. You've probably seen the videos. Same are these. This is a lift point to lift up your door right here. Uh, accessory ready so on this one there's no handle here on the higher trims it comes with a handle so that's interesting some Ford made in US kind of stuff the armrest is lockable so there's a lock right there 12 volt in here and emergency key slot is right in there can't really see it but it's in there and then this is uh, very nice it's soft it's firm but soft so it's not a hard plastic on some vehicles I've seen they were like hard plastic same as this one so it's nice here it's soft but everything else is you know hard plastic hard plastic hard plastic and up here we've got only two buttons traction control I mean three uh, hazard light and the trail turn assist nothing else on higher trims you have more you know, like a locking differential so way about disconnects and things like that and there's no power point over here uh, on the higher trim I think it's on the high package you get the power point for this rail over here which you could mount a camera or phone or anything like that there's no power on here and then we've got a standard flippy flippy uh, a mirror and then they do give you a sunglass holder. And then these lights are LED, so it's kind of nice. There's a microphone for the Bluetooth stuff. And then visor, it's got mirror on both sides, no light, no light. And then what else am I missing? Um, uh, mirror adjustments are automatic, power, that's pretty nice. And then all windows, all four of them are auto, which is really interesting because Ford didn't even offer that on the F-150 Platinum, you know, on the previous gen. So all four are auto. I like that. And this is the standard SYNC 4 8-inch screen, which is the base, no nav, but you can do Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and then wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, which is pretty cool. And then the st standard climate control stuff, standard climate control stuff. And then here's your shifter, which feels 
nice it feels good looks good all right so let's come around this is interesting right here if you open this door all the way it almost almost touches that where they're stripping it's pretty cool uh antenna the old school antenna and then as we can see for windshield we've got the the camera and then i believe the sensor no barcode up there so the camera is for f uh, forward collision warning that's all it does here pedestrian detection and coming around let's see oh yeah it does have some tow hooks there four wheel drive i guess it makes sense trying to keep this video short now on the driver's side you've got here lumbar no lumbar on the passenger driver does have lumbar height adjustment and then backrest adjustment that is really cool i like that because sometimes i like to ride kind of deep inside kind of low so this will come in handy so let's see over here the handle windshield washer stuff uh interestingly they do give you a button for the rear washer um right there you can see you know one two they do give you that but it, it does nothing obviously it's not hooked up there's nothing in the back but the, that's the washer stuff the headlights are automatic so that is nice uh emergency brake is electric on all these and then push button start so that's nice so we have push button start that's the 8-inch screen there and then it's a really nice display right in here i believe they're all the same on all the broncos so that is customizable you can do all kinds of things with it you know fuel economy trip info off-road stuff i added some of these gauges turbo so it's not going to build boost we are not driving but that's the screen it's very nice good looking screen and if i adjust the goat boats you know it's only five of them on here uh feel the animations feel really nice it's not slow it looks good very cool speedometer there there's another speedometer right there coolant level uh temperature and some warning lights right there they come on uh steering wheel very nice good looking steering wheel this is plastic or whatever material they call it this is not like leather wrapped or anything like that but it does look good feels good in hand now uh, you've got all rubber stuff here is because you know it's kind of weather proof uh volume adjustment cruise control it does have cruise control which is really nice i like that on the f-150 xl for example you can't get in cruise control unless you option it out and then some adjustments you know voice commands and things like that Let's see if it search it. for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found oh it's asking us to do bluetooth but i'm not gonna do that uh what else should i yeah the, i'm surprised by that screen i like that screen i put this in the calm screen mode and then when it goes away it looks just like that I am not going to drive this vehicle because this vehicle is pre-ordered for a customer so I'm just taking this video for you guys uh, what else should I add that's uh, that's everything that comes to mind the, the seats are comfortable that is you know it's really nice I like that my f-150 has comfortable seats my wife's Ford Fusion has comfortable seats. I like that Ford did the, this design. The cloth seat material feels good. I wouldn't say these are just as good as the ones in the F, new F-150, but they're close. I mean, I like that. You can always swap them out to do aftermarket leather seats if you wanted to. And uh, what else should I touch on here? But overall overall i think it's really nice for a 
base model, if you're not spending sixty, seventy thousand dollars for a new vehicle, new Bronco, I think you get a lot with the uh, this base package. This is right around thirty-five thousand dollars, and you get a four-wheel drive truck that you can take it off road or drive around or whatever you want to do with it and it's pretty roomy and it feels feels good feels good are there going to be any things that Ford improves yeah there's always going to be more stuff in the first year production run there are going to be some bugs they have to work out but overall I think Ford did a good job making this new Bronco I think if you decide you want to order one I think you will you'll be please with the base model and if you don't need all that fancy stuff go with the base and then modify it the way you want it wheels tires lift whatever you want to do with it and then I do option out the 276 because I think it has enough juice to get around the 23 is okay if you are not gonna put tires and you know lift that kind of stuff otherwise go with the 27 thank you for watching the video